We'll summon Camellia and then Synchro Summon with our Camellia Mole Cricket for Naturia Beast. Holy, how is he going to beat? How is he going to get over this? Now we have Naturia Barkion stopping all traps. We have Naturia Beast stopping all spells. We're in the game. So my boy GB Schmokey is always coming with the sauce. This time around, guys, he is going to be showing us Naturia and how powerful this deck can be. And it's actually in the World Championship. Holy, this is high stakes gaming here. The Naturia strategy is built on being able to abuse Mole Cricket and Camellia. Mole Cricket allows you to special summon Naturia monsters from your deck. But if your, excuse me, if your opponent has monsters with the highest attack, you can summon two instead. And then it can also special summon itself when you special summon uh, a Naturia monster or if your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck. So it keeps coming back. It works really good with Runic. As these strategies blend together extremely well, Runic allows you to get Synchro Parts by summoning the Fusion Monster, but also helps you get rid of problematic cards. This time around, Smoke's going to draw Mole Cricket, Maxi, Double Tip, and Freezing Curse. It's the only Runic deck I approve of. He's going to start off by Normal Summon Mole Cricket. His opponent's going to chain Maxi. We're going to chain Mole Cricket. He definitely should have waited. Well, then Chain Tip. Holy, yo, just don't throw the whole player away. We're going to get two special summons before he can even draw off Maxi. That's huge right now. We'll special summon Hugin to our side of the field. Mole Cricket then summons Camellia. And now we can activate the effect of Hugin discarding Freezing Terses and Camellia being able to send a Naturia card from the deck to the graveyard. This is why you don't just blindly use Maxi, guys. We'll get the Runic Fountain off the Hugin and then Sacred Tree will activate. He'll chain Kelbic. To be able to get rid of the Camellia. So maybe he had plans to get rid of our entire combo no matter what. So he's going to get rid of the Camellia. We'll activate the effect of our Notoria Blessing. This card's actually cracked. Basically what it does is that anytime it's sent to the graveyard. Whether it's sent to the graveyard for cards like Nightmare Phoenix discarding for cost or something. It allows us to get a Notoria Monster from the deck to the hand. It's other effects. Don't even worry about them. We're, we're not even going to. Because you're never going to use them. We'll activate our Runic Fountain. And then we'll go to end phase. Now we're going to have to figure out what our opponent is on. Probably tier element. It's tier element. They'll normal summon merely and will activate the effect of blessing to be able to special summon. We'll then chain the effect of runic tip to be able to add from the deck to the hand. We'll add runic freezing curses. Banish the top card. That just happens to hit a Madura. And then we'll special summon mold cricket. Holy yo. He's going to get Solik and Heartbeak into the graveyard. That's huge for him. But now we'll get Runic Fountain to be able to shuffle three cards in and draw cards, getting us more resources. And hey, look, he has monsters with the highest attack on the field. So we can use the effect of Mole Cricket to summon two Notoria monsters from our deck to our sides of the field. All right. So Mole Cricket is going to summon Camellia and Sunflower. These are some really cool effects you guys are about to see. We'll draw three cards. Our opponent will add the Suyik. And their Suyik will allow them to get a tier limit monster. So look, this is how it goes. As you guys already know, Notoria Camellia allows us to send a card from deck to the graveyard. We're going to activate that very shortly. But the big thing that you guys are going to see is that Notoria Sunflower says tribute one Notoria card in this card. Negate the activation of opponent's monster effect. The cool thing about this is that Camellia has another effect. That if you activate a Notoria monster to tribute monsters, you can send the top two cards instead. And since Notoria Sunflower is not once per turn, we basically get two monster effect disruptions off of this whole little situation on our opponent's turn. It's actually quite cool. And we get a free search. So Camellia's effect will send another Sacred Tree. That'll activate Sacred Tree to be able to add Blessing. Our opponents will then go Shiren. We'll Ash Blossom them. Okay, we're feeling pretty big. Ash Blossom on the Shiren is good. They'll set two cards face down. Attack with our Hugin. Hugin will shuffle himself back into the extra deck and then pass. Keep in mind, guys. We are not going to have our battle phase here because we activated runic cards, but it's actually okay. We'll synchro summon with our sunflower and our camellia straight up. We're going to make a Naturia Barkion. Holy. Then activate the effect of Mole Cricket because we did summon a Naturia monster. Our opponent goes Suyik here. We can then chain the effect of Barkion. He must not know what Barkion does. We'll banish the Ash Blossom in the Sacred Tree to negate his Suyik here. And now Mole Cricket will summon itself back to the side of the field. That triggers the effect of a Suyik since it was destroyed. We're just going to Ash Blossom it. Yo, sometimes trading cards like this is never good. But when we're drawing three cards per turn, it doesn't even matter. 
We'll summon Camellia and then Synchro Summon with our Camellia. Mole Cricket for Naturia Beast. Holy, how is he going to beat? How is he going to get over this? Yes, we lost our battle phase, but now we have Naturia Barkion stopping all traps. We have Naturia Beast stopping all spells. We have Blessing, which has some secret effects that I may not want to reveal yet because I'm not sure if he's going to use them. But we're in the game. Maxi, Freezing Curses, Runic Fountain. Oh, man, this is going to be good, guys. We'll activate Naturia Blessing immediately. We'll summon Camellia. Our opponent will go Shiren here. We'll chain Maxi to the Shiren. We could have hard fusion summon. We could have. That's what I was talking about. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. We'll draw a card off the Shiren. Ajito and Scream will both activate their effects. We'll use Camellia's effect. When your opponent normal summons or special summon, you can spell summon a Toria monster from the graveyard. So bring yourself back out, Sunflower. Holy, yo. We're, we're, we're building to shut him down. Ajito then sends five. Ajito actually helps us a ton because it puts rooted cards in our graveyard to be able to draw. This time around, he's going to go Havnis, Suyi, Kelbic. We'll activate the effect of Sunflower. We'll send two more cards at the top of our decks to the graveyard in Kelbic and evenly match to be able to negate the Havnis. Should have been Chain Link 2. Our opponent will get the Burly to his hand with the Suyi. Kelbic will send five more. Excuse me. He'll then go Rhino Heart into Turia Beast. We'll chain Kelbeck that we sent to the graveyard off of our effects to be able to shuffle some cards back into the deck. We're not going to let him do all that. Beast will allow him to draw another card, and then he'll normal summon Merly. We'll activate Freezing Curses, target one effect monster, and negate it, and then banish the top three. Holy, our opponent is down to 10 cards in deck now. We're then going to go Runic Fountain to be able to draw three cards again. Those are some decent cards. Our opponent will now link off. Oh, man. They're going to get over her card. He's going to summon Underworld Goddess, but I don't think he knows about cool effects here. We'll draw a call by the grave. We'll activate Runic Freezing Curses to be able to destroy his special summon monster. He didn't make it with an IP, so he's going to get rid of it. And then on top of that, we got rid of another Madura. This... Wouldn't look like game, guys. Unfortunately, it's not. We still have to skip our battle phase. So Runic Fountain will allow us to be able to draw through more cards. He's going to chain Madura. He's going to get his cards back instead of preventing us to draw three. That's so interesting. Oh, man. I, I hope we do it. I all oh, know. We're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon for 10. That's going to be the better on the floor. Does he even play it? I got to find out now. Ah, uh, he doesn't even play it. I, I thought he was going to activate Naturia Blessing. It has an effect that allows us to immediately Synchro Summon or immediately Fusion Summon. We could have Fusion Summoned into Naturia Exterior, which would have been crazy, but we don't play. Better on the floor hits the fill. Now Beast plus Sunflower. Keep in mind, all their effects were negated, so we, we're going to link them off. We're going to make Donner. We're then going to activate Naturia Blessing to bring back Naturia Beast. <laughs> and now we'll go to end phase. Our battle phase is skipped. But look at our board. Infinite Spell negates a monster in Trap Negate. Our opponent goes Shiren. We activate Call by the Grave. We get rid of their Shiren. Plus, we still have six cards in hand. All right, so the Shiren gets negated here. He goes straight into the end phase. We'll draw Ash Blossom here. We'll normal summon Madura. We can enter our battle phases. We'd use no runic cards. And this just so happens to be enough for game. That was actually crazy smoky. Can we see a deck profile so people can see how powerful the tier limit, or I'm sorry, the Naturia strategy is? Work with me. All right, so I know this is a little bit hard to see. We're working on a way to get deck profiles. I'm actually thinking about just making an email for you guys to send your replays into, which I think would be really, really dope. And then you guys can show the profile that way. But for this profile, there's three copies of Naturia Mole Cricket. There's one Sunflower, three copies of Maxi, three copies of Ash, two copies of Keldo, two copies of Madura, three copies of Naturia Camellia, one Foolish Burial Goods, two copies of Runic Fountain, two copies of Cold Buy, two copies of Runic Tip, three copies of Runic Flashing Fire, two copies of, oh God, I don't know these two Runic cards. 
The two runic cards that are semi-limited, two copies of Runic Slumber, three copies of Notoria Blessing, three, three evenly matched, and three copies of the Notoria Sacred Tree. For the extra deck, there's two Hugin, two of the Doggo, which is Jerry, one Beast, one Barkeon, one copy of Stardust Charge Warrior, one copy of Coral Dragon, one copy of Baron de Floor, one Shinging, one Dweller, one Excited Knight, one Baguska, one Daggerus, and one Donner for Hire. I would actually like to see a Zeus in here, but other than that, this deck was really, really solid. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you want to see more amazing content, check out these videos and I'll catch you 